Alright guys. We're going. I'll just put this in my pocket, I guess. all the bags. What's going on, guys? It's yeah, it's working now. Alright. You want to get in and take this? Yeah. You get in and I'll give you this. So you can screw this up, this is a gesture, I just, all right, and then if you, you don't want to move it, I'll well, leave it high, you don't need to see the dashboard. All right, this is tight, and now it shouldn't move much, just hold on to it. Mm -hmm. Drop connection like that. If you want to move it, you just unscrew this. Mm -hmm. But you gotta hold this. Mm -hmm. Hold thing smooth.
if we, I don't know what to get. What you, are you getting a burger? Showed me the underbody. Yeah. You should get rid of it. 
dangerous. That thing would fold like a aluminum pop can in a in an accident. Because yeah. the, the all the understructure was just gone. see a car with no tinted windows but kind of like lowered yeah. like I feel like it looks better like without tinted windows oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it does keep the heat out a bit right on really yeah. hot days yeah. but I don't when I was driving every day I never even used the look AC look at that green Mercedes right there I never used the AC when I drove. No? I just always had the windows down. It was like 40 of them. I would put this down. Yeah, I, I took the AC. I didn't take the AC out, but I left it disconnected. Yeah, in yeah. In the Mustang. Because I wanted to race the car the, on the track. The AC unit's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. How much do you think? 60 pounds? Yeah, I think it's that. It's 40. I know all the Honda guys pull all that out. A lot of them get rid of power steering too. Oh yeah? That's a lot of work. Driving the car without power steering. Well, what's the difference? It's, it's, a, it's a tug. It's tight, like tighter turning. Really tight. I guess some people just like it, right? like no more pennies. like maybe it feels like more traction or something like more especially on a lowered car right with the power steering doesn't it give you more center of gravity because it's tighter on the road no no it makes you lower gravity it's all the way you got the car low yeah got left this gas cap open I always wanted the blow off valve that has the flutter to it. Oh, yeah? That's where that comes from? Yeah, well, there's the. <clears throat> what's it called? Like the aftermarket blow off valve I have now is like the recirculating one. So, like, the air is always getting recirculated, right? And then there's the other Sorry, blow off valve where it actually Hold shoots on. out. Oh, you did this wrong. Which one do we go through? Uh, the, the first, first one. driveway? Yeah. 
I'm just getting a hamburger, slow fry, and a little frosty. And then frosty for your Mrs. Red. What do you want? I don't know. Well, you know this place, so. Don't get a meal, because we're going to be eating in three hours. Yeah, but if we're just going to have nachos, I might as well eat a meal now. Just give me a number eight, then, when you're done ordering. I don't want to eat a big burger just right now. Just the It's going to kill me. Yeah. Just the strip, no combo? The combo. Okay, a combo number eight, please. I can pay. I brought my wallet. What? What'd she say? I'm talking to her, and you're trying to talk to me. Uh, number eight combo and then two uh hamburgers well the coke and the fries no white no ice in the drink well is they both the same price what what com what comes with the combo is it small small medium or large all right, so the small one. I want the small hamburger. It's what, two dollars? Yeah, with no cheese. No cheese. Hamburger with no cheese. Okay, and then um, a small French fry and two uh, uh, frosties. Do you want a frosty? No. Two frosties. Okay. Can't understand a fucking word she says. Uh, sweet and sour. The frosties, which flavor? Chocolate. Yeah, I did. I thought it only came with chocolate. You want the ninety-nine cents one, the small yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, one small, one medium. Both chocolate. So you got, uh, what's on the order? stuff these people don't know what they're doing well no they don't know how to speak English I don't even know what we got if I had a bunch of money to spend I'd go there and order everything on the menu just to make them work harder just like that one guy yeah because they're miserable mm. <laughs> I should try to contact him and tell him you should come down to try Wesley. Well, he did that. He he did that at Burger King. In the King. West End. It was at Burger King. Was it was it? Wendy's. Was it Wendy's? Mm. Oh my God. He ordered one of everything on the menu that day. That's crazy. Yeah. If anyone's in chat listening, there's this guy from the West End, Toronto. He went to his local Wendy's, 
and you know the guy's got a decent amount of money so he's like I'm gonna go waste you know four or five hundred dollars and order everything on the menu because every time he goes there the people that order his food like when he orders his food the workers always have to ask oh what did you say or do you want this or the order will be wrong right so yeah he has a video of ordering everything on on the menu and it's hilarious and then you hear him in the background like oh trying to make them work <laughs> then he got thrown out because he, he was over on the other side of the counter yeah. he went on the other side of the counter i don't know why he did that She's got the right away, let's go. Get your Rubicon and shove it. Wait for that lady to cross. I think I'm gonna do that one day though, for sure. Cause I doubt he'd come to the one out this side. And drive by all the bus stops on the way home and give those guys a drink or a sandwich you want, chicken you want. Yeah. Should we go Eastern or do uh, Queen? Eastern. Or is there construction that way? I, uh, I don't know. I think I'll stay on Queen. Black Lab Brewing. for a mother or anybody picking it up for their kids. Like, how do you even get an order wrong? Well, if I'm working out of Wendy's and someone tells me what they want. Remember the day we were there and they had the order wrong and then they made it again and then... They made I, it twice and it was wrong two, three times, they, right? they made it wrong three times. <laughs> I went in the store and, they, and then I ordered it the third time and I said, look, I don't want any mayo. You know what? They made it and gave me mayo yeah. standing right there. I couldn't believe that. Three times they got it wrong. I would just ask for my money back. <laughs> Out of all the places I've been to, now that I think of it, like for fast food, McDonald's, Burger King, Harvey's, the McDonald's just down here on the right. I've never had a problem there before. saying is 
it's Harvey's, like H A R V E Y S. Harvey's. Yeah, I've heard of Hardee's. Maybe that's like an American or European version of Hardee's. And Bur Burger King has good fries here. I wonder if it's the same in the States. Yeah. Burger King here isn't bad. It's pretty good. I remember I, going to Burger King. First time I went to Burger King was in 1968. Mm -hmm. It was in Florida. Titusville. On the beach. Number one highway. Who do you think has the best milkshakes out of like Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's? I think Donald's. Burger King has the best milkshakes. Burger King, yeah. Okay, we're getting there. Style. Didn't that used to be Dunkin' Donuts or was no, it always? That's, that's been country style since we moved here. I thought we had Dunkin' Donuts here. Or is we do we... somewhere up at uh, out this road here, up to Kingston. Remember? I've heard good things about Dunkin' Donuts, but. It's a big I, US country. I, I was going to say, I think it's better in the States. Like in America, I'm pretty sure Dunkin' Donuts is like our Tim Hortons. But now Tim Hortons is nearly not all over the U.S. Oh, yeah, single. BLT, I think. Chipotle steak penny, yeah. And we do have Chipotle here too. Yeah, we have a. They're big. Well, they're they're good size here. There's a few. Of them. They pronounce it Euro, Euros, Euros. Is that how they say it? In Greece, it's Euros. Euros? Where I was. I thought the G was silent. Yeah. Gyro. <laughs> Some people say gyro. Gyro. <laughs> gyro comfort. Gyro. Yeah, they're so good. Uh, Melting, when you had yours, do they put like french fries in it? Over here, the guys that are, you know, the guys that are Greek and own those places, they put like french fries along with the tzatziki and like inside of the sandwich. It's actually not a so lot good. of french fries, just two or three, three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they spread it out, just not a lot of it. It goes good with it. And what's that other one? Falafels? Falafels. It's not just like literally the same as a... It's a salad with chickpeas done up in like bowls. Yeah. Falafel, gyro. Shawarma. Shawarma. I go to the best place for a shawarma. We'll go, we should get one next week then. I need to have one. Oh, and they do it up and it's this big around. Yeah. You, I put everything on it. It's just gourmet. It's delicious. There's so much good food out there. 
I used to work at that gas station chat. Petra Canada right there. I worked there, how long did I work there for? Two years? Yeah, it was uh, Sunoco. Maybe even three years. I worked there for a while. We're getting a gas station, is not bad. Especially because I was in the cars too, so it's like, right? It's not boring if you're into like cars, you know? Sometimes you get to see a nice car come in. They usually do the gas themselves. <laughs> I had a guy tip me once just for talking to him, right? He came in with a nice lowered vehicle and I was like, oh, nice car. And I went to grab the gas thing. He's like, oh, no, I got it. And I'm like, yeah, I respect that. And I was like, I'd probably do the same <laughs> with my car. You know, I'm not going to let someone else do it. Yeah. I'd rather do it myself. station some some uh, nights I was making 80 90 dollars in tips okay? yeah I know make good money I mean if you can make if you, <laughs> you make 200 a day working at a gas station that's just a normal employee you got 80 to 90 in tips and you make a hundred a day yeah if it's full service like that yeah yeah Six, eight, it's a thousand a week. I mean, four thousand a month with taxes. That's like thirty-two hundred. You, you could afford to live in a, a one-bedroom apartment or rent out a house with a basement apartment. Not thirty-four hundred. Four thousand a month. Oh, four thousand maybe. Yeah, four thousand a so month. One bedroom apartment, apartment here now is like almost two thousand. One bedrooms about five, six years ago were only. 800, yeah. 1200. Like my friend Norman lived in an apartment, two bedroom, really nice, and it was only 1200. Split that with somebody, it's 600 each. Yeah. I remember I was going to do that for a bit, remember that? But then I wanted to save my money, which was worth, I mean, I have this, I bought this WRX instead of paying rent and living with a friend. I think it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I think so, Punky. Especially these days, like every gas station is um, self-serve. Is he gonna let us go? <laughs> I pulled in here for him. That guy's still sitting there. On yours melting? See, I don't like. F I'm not big on cheese. I, I hate cheese. Right, you get, you can take I only that. like cheese if it's like <laughs> on pizza or like you know on a burger. You know maybe poutine. But like if you give me like a raw piece of like cheddar, I can't eat it. I'll get the stuff out of the trunk. You take the. It's camera. hard for me to eat that stuff. You got the camera. I get the rest. Yeah, yeah. And then suck, Chuck. Getting out of the car. Yeah, I've never really liked cheese. It's my taste buds. I've never... I'm going to put you guys down for a second. You got everything there? Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I can picture myself eating, like, some crackers and cheese for sure. It's just, I don't know, is it the bitter, the bitterness of cheese that I don't like, I guess? Like, when it's just cold cheese? I don't know, it's, like, really strong, I guess. Oregon. Where is Oregon again? Isn't that like Western, Portland? Western. Near Portland, isn't it? Yeah, it is that way. Yeah, it's open, isn't it? I've always wanted to travel to the Midwest. One place I want to go to is Colorado. Colorado looks like a cool place. Oh. I don't need a plate. Yeah, I don't think I do either. I'm trying to find the spoons. Mm. I don't see. Here. They're in there, little plastic ones. fries chat or the, the bag fries we all know that the, bag, the one the ones left in the bag the ones that fall out that are in the bag it's because all the grease gets soaked out of it onto the bag yeah all right let's eat lunch I'm gonna plug in this phone. I don't know what it's at. I'm actually, I'm gonna go check my email to see if I got access to Project Leaf. What's it called again? Project what? Leaf. Leaf. L. Mm. Project Leet. L E E T. That's what he said. Eat lunch and then see what we're going to do because they give you so many napkins and all this. I'm going to have a little burger from Wendy's. I shouldn't be eating in front of you guys. The tablets in the house. Mmm. Nothing wrong with that. I'm getting a tablet.
2 o'clock. Melting side, oh yeah. Heard you um, chatting there with uh, Sturkey. He was calling you melting. Constitutions here are mostly self serve, exactly. Club crackers with white cheddar cheese. Tell you how much does the Wendy's trip cost? Twenty-six dollars. Canadian dollars. Lettuce, red onion, tzatziki, one of yours. Yeah, they offer fun meals. Here, if you want a zero, you can pick what you want. If I'm lucky, I might get two more planks done. Depends on the wood. I've got so many end cuts here, I can probably make some flower boxes. Maybe I'll do that. My wife and I made those shutters on the window. You can hear that guy cutting the concrete. We went by him.
much these hamburgers were. Junior Burger Deluxe. Two dollars and thirty-nine cents each. And they put everything on it, I don't care. I couldn't understand a word she said. I was just hoping I was getting what I ordered. Huh. Um, I'm fine. Melt inside, I'm fine. Away on my deck for a couple of weeks now, but tonight I'm on CHF. I run in there with two or three other guys. Found some the Phantom or Far from Fardom. Now we have shade in the afternoon. I think we're only about seven more to go. I'm just looking at the bill. Those burgers are only a couple of bucks. Two dollars and thirty-nine cents each. Cheaper than McDonald's. Yeah, and they put everything on it. Like McDonald's just puts it together and said, like, looks like we just came out of the back seat of a car. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> make french fries but I haven't made any for a long time when the kids were younger I used to call them daddy fries what's for supper oh we're having 
this or that with daddy fries. So close to being done, you got that right, Punky. There's room for one, two, three planks, so I want to get two more down today. And that will be a record, because I've got one, two, three, four, I've got five down now. Seven in one day is a big deal around here. Every piece of wood is different because it's not straight or whatever, whatever, whatever. my frosty nice lunch break okay I think it was a great idea to go out for lunch Oh my. Keep going red, don't slow down. Because if you do, you're gonna be dead in the water. This is going to be melted. <clears throat> oh, you know, look at that. I can, I can drink it. Try to do two more boards. Mm -hmm. So you can put one now, and then you have to do one more cut, and then put another one. No, I've got space for three, but I'm only going to do two. Maybe before you like you, before we get to work, maybe trim those if it's easy. All these boards here. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Where are you going to do it though? You got a bit on your nose. A little up more. Um, I can do it right there over that that spot. Mm -hmm. This thing's all melted. I can drink it. No, it's more like a shake now instead of like ice cream. <clears throat> well, uh, I'll be back in a minute. I guess you'll be ready in about five ten minutes. Yeah, five minutes. Let your food settle a bit. I found rabbit droppings on the deck over here on a board. Yeah. From a couple of nights, not yesterday, yeah, yesterday.
crude oil has melted a bit. Sometimes it gives me brain freeze. Like, this is too cold now. <clears throat> right, we're going to measure and cut. Hopefully, the board is going to be good. I hit the spot. I'll tell you that. Some of this garbage away. Way far away. Then right here, handy. Yeah. All right. What are we doing? I'm going to measure. Measure for pleasure. Turn this down.
little more than 146 and a half. 146 and three quarters. <clears throat> Let's see if we got a, a board to do that. Over there.
first piece ready. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna grab it under this. Yeah, I'm just gonna just have a fit here. See if you can drop it in there. Yeah. You in? Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Right. Um I gotta get these boards out of here. I cut that up already for you. Oh, okay. I'll start doing that. I have a bag that's only half full here anyways. Start filling this one. battery for the drill down the stairs. bags left. That's plenty. Yeah. This will make it last a lot longer.
and so on the mouth. Yeah. There's that place called Lantia. Lantia, yeah. Which is where you get like the, the big or the suit. Yeah. A special suit. It's like a, like a space suit. Or yeah, similar to, it's like a space suit. Yeah. But I asked him if it's armored, and he said, yeah, it's like a full armor. It's basically having a full body armor. I've seen guys getting it. And apparently it's better than, like, the plate carrier. <coughs> kind of crazy. Out of all the Numelsk I've played, I've never done that. But I think L Lantia was added after that. What about this piece of wood? Are you going to use this for anything? No. It's good still, though. Done. Are you gonna give it like a power wash or just let the No, no. I'm gonna give it another coat maybe in November or October. piece of wood. I'm leaving it there so nobody falls through. Oh. Just for now, right? It's a dangerous spot. Not a hole too. Should I get something for that? spending 50 bucks more to have more continuous lumber than to have patches of three foot, three foot, three foot every second. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, it looks better than what we had before. <laughs> okay. Well, before it was pressure treated, but we never, all the cuts we did, we never did cut and seal on the ends of them. Look under that board and see. That's what happens when you don't do that work. Yeah.
Hey, fatty. Yeah, of course. Of course, of course. Will be done before Monday. Should be. I'll try to come on. I don't have any mods installed, so I got lots of room on my new SSDs, right? So oh, you got a new SSD. Yeah, I got like 750 gigabyte free on my Windows SSD, and I still have like 800 free on my gaming <laughs> SSD. So I got like yeah, a terabyte and a half of free space. Yeah. This is how I've been doing, laying it out, and then just bring it forward, and the numbers don't lie over there. Uh -huh. Holy shit, almost 147. Oh, 146 and three quarters again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 146 and three quarters. Let's find a board. Sure. and three quarters. Yeah. Yeah. 
other side there. Yeah. You're gonna put the bad side down. Yeah. up here nice. All right, I got to treat this one. I keep misplacing that cup. Cup. Bigger to this area. It's over here on the table. I got it. Right there. A lot less ants. Yeah, we yeah. sealed up the tub, eh? Pretty well. side right yeah. side. this is the factory side both sides done I haven't found any yet that are we had one yesterday yeah I painted it I fixed it Try and line them up with these boards. Yeah, that's perfect. And cut them the length. Now this one here is longer, and that one's shorter. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. So that's. Started at like what, 10 o'clock? 9, 9 15, I think it was. build something with that extra wood. Yeah. Well, prime day for N NVMe. Yeah. I think I got an NVMe SSD, didn't I? I, think, I think, yeah, NVMe SSD. Yeah. I'm going to get another one of mine. thought about doing that thing and bringing your computer up there? Yeah. Maybe next week. After you're done the deck? Yeah. I don't want too many things on the go at once. Yeah, chat. I went with the I went with Red to the computer store. And he's gonna be making an upgrade him most likely. He's gonna keep his thirty sixty TI. And then he's gonna upgrade to the 7800X3D. And then, I think 6000 RAM speed, gigabyte. Similar build to what I have. I have a 7800X3D with 6000 RAM speeds and 
4060 Ti, 12 gigabyte. It feels like a monster. When I'm playing DayZ chat, I get like, like if I'm on a server with like no base building or like just like not a lot of bases or mods, I get like 400, 500 FPS. <laughs> it's crazy. So Red will like that. Right now, Red, I think it's your it's your CPU and your RAM speeds that are holding you back yeah. from, from getting high frames while streaming. Yeah. So once you do that rig, you're going to have like 400 plus FPS, like even on the servers where you have bases. Really? Yeah, it doesn't go down much. I think... I went onto a heavy modded server with a lot of bases, and from the average four to five hundred on like normal servers, like day one, it only went down to like three hundred, like three twenty. So you'll always be above like two eighty at a minimum. I recommend chat if any of you guys are looking into building a new rig. Punky, you should look up the seventy eight hundred X three D. If you got money to spend, maybe event like eventually, if you want to make some upgrades, just check out that PC. It's a monster, and it will be for like at least another five to ten years. What makes it so good is that it's got um, something called like three D something cache, which like just like gives you more performance in games compared to other CPUs. <laughs> but yeah, if you look it up, it's about 400 or something. Once I get a steady job, I think I'm going to have to purchase a new monitor, maybe. Hey, Red, I've had my monitor since 2018, 2019. I guess it's still good for a bit. There's no issues. What's up? My monitor. I just need to clean it it's or something. Or yeah, yeah. It's still good. That's it for today. Mm -hmm. A couple more screws. It's looking good. I wonder if I can show chat. Like, hold on. If I unplug this, I'm not gonna do the stream if I no, unplug no, it. Fine. All right. It's actually crazy how much is done. Let's go over here. I've done a lot. It's crazy. Mm. Over here is done too. This is a box Red built. <laughs> he built this to keep the raccoons out of the barbecue. <laughs> oh, sorry, Chad. I just had a spider fall on me. What the hell was that? A spider just went onto my face from a tree. It's cool back here. Sometimes we have... Like, usually once it's all cleaned up back here in the summer, Red puts out all these little plants everywhere, and it looks like you're on a resort. <laughs> oh, we almost got stuck. Yeah, I hate spiders. Nasty. I don't know if I could survive living in Australia, that's for sure. So I guess tomorrow... I think Red wants to do, what, one, two, another four boards tomorrow, and then four boards Friday. It'll be done up to like the barbecue or the wall. And then just this section, and then it's done. It's crazy. I'm gonna put the camera here. I'm gonna sit down over here. You're gonna sit down? Okay, I'll put the camera here. You can adjust it. I'll grab the jackery for you.
Sounds like a party happening. How's it going? Yeah. Is it full? No. No, that was really good that you had those little rollers to yeah, use. I had to buy them. What? I had to buy those for 20 bucks each. From the pool guy? No, Home Depot. Oh, no. Oh, so you've already taken them back? I'm going to clean them up. I take them back. <laughs> they didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> They're wrong size. And, uh, exactly. Um, they weren't what I thought they were for. So. I'm just putting a little bit of plastic under there. I got to trim it, finish trimming it. Yeah, excellent. Looks oh. good. Well, for the home stretch, we got. Yeah, we're expecting by Monday. Another four boards tomorrow, four boards Friday. Yeah. Finish in front of the We're going to have some good w weather. And then yeah, look at the weather. Then finish this up. We're too hot. I'd like straight? it to stay like this. Let's see the project. Let's see it firsthand. Watch your step on that porch. Watch that landing there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Building a stage. You look like you're going to have a rock Yeah, the band's going to be over here. The bar's under the window. Exactly. you got the tub going, okay? You get Jack get the Kaiser that. over here one yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. You've now ruined the grass in your backyard. Yeah. Well, that's I'm going to do AstroTurf. Can... I'm going to put AstroTurf. What? I think I'm going to put AstroTurf there. I, AstroTurf. Well, that's what our neighbors have. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. I heard them working over there. The, no, our ne right next door has AstroTurf. Oh, your neighbor. Yeah, the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those those bum uh, people who live there, they were the ones who put it down. But, you know, they like it for their kids and dogs. Yeah, and, yeah. and you just sweep it and keep it clean. You know, yeah, you can you vacuum, vacuum it. it, it yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's... Yeah. That's the plan. I gotta put in some more dirt down there, and that's the one. What else could look nice, like on the grass? It's like a, you know, like interlock landscape. Yeah. Like a, like a circular pattern of some nice. Yeah. Uh, With a water yeah. fountain. Well, the people next door, two doors down, all that tamping you've been hearing. Yeah. yeah. He brought four tons of limestone in. <laughs> four tons, and he hand tamped it. Peter. Yeah. Why do you need so much I like limestone? That. I used to do that with my friend. Need, Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You he need, likes it too. You need gravel and then you need limestone and then you can. It's, not, it's like not that hard. It's a nice little job. It's well, he, uh, you know, he is the handiest guy. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Uh, so that's the one next door to the guy yes, next to you. Yes, it used to be uh, Neil and Chantel. Yeah, yeah. And then they moved to Montreal and then uh, uh, Rebecca and Peter. Like Rochelle. But. Yeah, uh, on the other side. Next to Cheryl's, Cheryl's house. house. Oh, next to Cheryl's oh, house. Yeah. It was really funny because uh, I'll tell you a funny story. I was outside gardening last week, and a guy was a guy was walking down the street, and uh, and he said, "Oh, hey, how how are you doing?" And I go, and I didn't recognize him. I was like, I was like, fine, you know, I you know, but he was being friendly. He said, "And how's Kaylee?" And I was like, <laughs> I, 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 I said, oh, she's doing great, you know, she's getting married and she's, you know, doing good and, you know, uh, and I said, I, I'm sorry. Uh, what is your I, name? I, I, no, I didn't say what is your, uh, I, I, eventually I did say what is your name. I said, you know, was one of your kids a friend of Kaylee's? He goes, yes, she knows my daughter. Catherine. Probably from school, yeah. Oh, okay. and, uh, and, uh, uh, and so we're talking away, and he, he, he was telling me that her, his daughter Catherine is a city planner, oh. uh, and she's uh, like uh, in charge of this big Gerard and, and, um, and River Street uh, development, uh, what's that, uh, Regent Park, the big block, huge block development, that is her project that she's steering on behalf of the city. And I was like, wow, isn't that fantastic? And, yeah. you know, all the kids are doing great, blah, blah, blah. And so he goes, I said, and what is your name? And he says, my name's Chris. I was like, oh. And Chris came outside and said, oh, hi. And he, he, he was like, hey, I, you know, I'm Chris. And anyways, off, <laughs> off he went. So I look up his daughter on on the city website. Yeah, I see yeah. her, I see her, Catherine Robinson. 
and I'd screenshot her picture and I sent it to Kaylee. I said, hey, this girl's dad just stopped by and was inquiring how you were doing. Mm. And Kaylee messages me back and says, I don't know her. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, what? I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, and she said, oh, mom, she probably, he was probably asking, thinking of Kaylee Wilson. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I never would have thought of that. And she was like, yeah, guess what? He thought you were Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I like her. <laughs> oh my god. I thought you were going to say it was one of the Wilsons that walked down. No, no. See you later. <laughs> See, you later. <laughs> See you later. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See, you <later>. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. Oh. Can you run that full of water for me? Yeah. So a little bit of stain over there and that will be... We're getting closer, chat. We're getting damn close now. Punky, you still around? Oh my goodness. Spiders. Oh, you don't have... Oh, this is about the computer. You're lucky if you get 60 frames. Oh my dear. Eyes... Oh, Eyes Delight. Being Australian, we... They have a barking spider that makes a noise when discovered. It's not loud, but still very scary. A barking spider. Do you see the chat in here? The guy who said in Australia they have barking spiders. Yeah. And I've seen some spiders that are, I forget what they're called, but they're like the size of like an actual like crab. I don't know if they're called crab spiders, but... Yeah, there's spiders like the size of like, literally like a newborn pup or like yeah, yeah. a month old puppy. Like, see a punky is going for physiotherapy. Physio. Physio. See a punky. So anyway, this is perfect. What's your? That's your drink, right? Yeah. yeah, I'm all done. Well, I think I'm done for the day. It's two o'clock. You did seven, eight hours yesterday. Yeah, I did. I. Yeah, I worked a bit yesterday. Lot yesterday. Oh, it's only 3.15. But I don't feel like doing it anymore. Dave, look how much you've done. Well, how many boards we got done? It depends on how bad you want to finish it. From that second board, that's one. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boards. Give yourself a vacation. I'll take a day off tomorrow. No, I'll not take a day off tomorrow. <laughs> take, stay off till Monday. And then Monday, we finish up to the wall. And then yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, so if you count the ones the over there by the tub, one, two, three, four. And then that's five, six. How many is left all together? T take a count for me. For like, just from the, like. Well, the where we over. left off to the wall. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. Not the wall, not the board on the wall, the work. Ten. Ten? How many boards we got on the lawn? Uh, three, six, nine, ten. We got ten left. <laughs> Just enough. <laughs> Pretty good ordering, but a lot of waste, eh? Yeah. So I'm going to have to come up with, uh, and sell, I'm going to sell some flower boxes. <laughs> I'm make some flower boxes. <laughs> drill you hole. You don't see a spider anywhere on me, do you? No. When I went over there with the camera, something like went on my face for yeah. a second. I don't know if it was a spider or not, but. Yeah. <sighs> oh my goodness. Didn't you say she's up by kind of Ron now or something? Well, I thought up so. That way. I thought so. But she has that place down in Fort Erie. Yeah. Uh, Wingfleet or somewhere, right? You were there a few times. Lake Erie. Lake Erie. Well, the towns there are yeah. Fort Erie. Oh, it's the same thing. Wingfleet. How far of a drive is that? I don't remember how long that was. It's that a, good two, a good two and a half hours, two hours. 
Yeah, it's like past Niagara, right? Yeah. Like you go east. You go. Once you go around the uh, lake. You go past Niagara towards Fort Erie to the bridge, and then there's a road going over. It was a cool little cottage. Yeah, it was, eh? And when you came out of the cottage, like if you were to walk a picture in a cottage and then you walk out the front door, yeah, you would turn right to go down to the beach. And it was okay. close. It was maybe like a three, four minute walk. Really, eh? In the, in but the so there's other there. houses there? It was yeah, like a houses, district? Uh, houses, cottages, I guess you could say, yeah. It, yeah, it was kind of like... Uh, kind of looked... It looked like up by David's house, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had the little sewer ditches. Oh, sewer water ditches. Yeah, yeah. No, I wonder how they're doing, like Josh and all that. Josh, eh? Josh and Zach and... I don't know where they are. Though. One's in Australia, I think. I hung out with Zach a bit when I was still hanging out with all my friends. He's down in Nova Halifax. When I was still hanging out down in the beach with my friends, I used to see Zach down there. Yeah. Because he was friends with, um... I used to hang out with Maddie, Maddie, Christian, like, do you remember Cristianos? Yeah. The Italians down on Kenilworth. I used yeah. to hang out there all the time. Adrian. He's in real estate now. Yeah, Adrian and Ma- uh, Madeline. I used to hang out with them all the time. So Madeline's older brother, Lee, was close with Zach. So sure. whenever I went down there, he would be with Zach if Zach was around. Mm. See, that's girl. When he's going to come across this fence, what he's if, I, about it. <laughs> what if I get a, a, p- a piece of glass that's 18 inches tall and get a board and make a groove in it and put the glass there, screw it to the fence, and when they come to the glass, where in the hell are they going to go? Mm. This uh, is the main, this is the highway here. The squirrels are cool. It's just the raccoons that are annoying. Uh, are they out yet? Sometimes you're sleeping on that tree. I saw there. one walking, uh, one a, a couple of days ago, it was the middle of the day, one of them was just casually walking down our laneway. Middle of the day. Middle of the day. <laughs> and it's not normal for They them. say that, yeah, they're out during the day walking around, they're sick. Yeah, something. there's something wrong with them. Mm-hmm. They, they're... They're normally out at night. They're nocturnal? Yeah. yeah. So. Oh. Well, bats. I've seen bats at Castles Park before. Way back in the day. Like, way, 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 way back. In the trees on this side. Like, when you go along Burgess and then make a right, they used to be around there. I've, I've seen them before. We've had a bat out here before. Remember one day I opened this up and bat flew out? Bless you. <clears throat> so, clean up time and. Hmm. I don't know, you think we're going to be able to even that thing out down there? There's some more rocks that got to come out, eh? Oh, well, I go in now for a second. I'll bring this with me. Alright. I'll get this and the other one. And, uh, what else do you need? Grab a few things. That's it. No, you're not going to be able to carry ten other things in that hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll need the jigsaw tomorrow to cut around that a- AC. Yeah. Because we're going to be there tomorrow on that AC. Oh, there, yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do in front of the door first? No, we'll g- keep going this way. piece of property when my wife saw it. A hundred acres. 
It has a, a big... Did your mother tell you about the house she saw up in Rosso? No. In the Muskoka Lakes? There's 100 acres of bush and it's got like a 20 by 30 uh, cabin on it. Mm -hmm. And they have the permits to add another 20 feet to it. So 50 by 30 is 1,500 square feet huh. for 379,000. Yeah. 100 acres. That's super cheap, right? Eh? And it's, you know, that guy that uh, my, my, uh, my alliance, what's his name? That guy, Sean James. He's got a place called My Self Reliance on YouTube. Go check it out, Chad. My Self Reliance on YouTube. He's got a couple hundred acres up north of there. Yeah. Same area. It's got it's got a marsh and it's got a lot of bush and uh, coniferous and deciduous and three hundred seventy nine thousand. Sell this place. Just want to let you know. So, okay. and we can move our uh, vehicle. Oh, oh, from the truck. Yeah. 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 Pretty good chat. Alright. Just had to make sure everything was aesthetic there. Call me over here and I'll take the gotta clean up some stuff. I got a little bit of screwing to do here. Not much though. 
Got a few boards to look after. We're gonna pack up some stuff. Pack it up. Still here, guys.
No, uh, it's not seen on this thing, right? Oh, okay. Well, look, what's that thing on the top there? What's that black thing? The black thing? Mm -hmm. oh, it's not the stick on the wood, I mean. Oh, okay. Well, who's just the end of the thing on the nails? Will it? Yeah, the wood. I found these things to wear. Okay, tools are all the way. Uh, what's next? What's on the agenda? Eyes delight. Oh, I should have mentioned that barking spiders are a type of tarantula. I'm not afraid of spiders. They do have a nasty bite if you get too close. Well, as long as they stay in Australia, I'm okay. <laughs> we don't want any of those up here. Hello. Everything can travel these days. So there's, let's get this bag.
almost done. Huh. Where else? Base building adventure continues. Yeah, this is a, a Red's building mod 3.0 now. I put a rest of those little odds and those bits and pieces in the bag there. Quiet walking on here, right? What? Quiet. Okay, so I think we should call it now, guys. Appreciate everybody coming by today. Hanging out. The lurkers. And if you, by the way, if you're not following, please drop a follow. And give a like over on the, uh, the YouTube. Carol's Red's Daisy YouTube. And drop a follow there. 
I think um, I need to get to 300 followers. And I think I'm at 110, something like that. And I need 3,000 watch hours and I'm at 1,200, so closing on halfway to that. Yeah, so if you guys would do that, that would be great. And I believe that we are streaming CHF tonight, so have a look. Have a look out for that. All right, we'll see you all soon. Stay well. Bye for now.